hello students in today's lecture we'll see one of the standard result using regression line show that if theta is the angle between the line of regressions means we have two line of regressions y on x and x on y then the theta is the angle between them then tan theta is equal to standard deviation of x into standard deviation of y divided by standard deviation of x square plus standard deviation of y square into 1 minus r square divided by r so this is one of the standard result we have to prove here so solution or proof we know that if theta is acute if theta is acute then the angle between the lines the angle between the lines y is equal to m1x plus c1 and another line y is equal to m2 x plus c2 is given by so using y is equal to m1 x plus c1 and y is equal to m2 x plus c2 so angle between the line if it is acute it is given by so tan theta is equal to it is m2 minus m1 divided by m1 plus m1 into m2 okay so we will use and we will prove this result now now we have the regression lines y minus y bar is equal to r into standard deviation of y divided by standard deviation of x into x minus x bar and another regression line is x minus x bar is equal to r into standard deviation of x divided by standard deviation of y into y minus y bar so i will give equation number one for this and two for this but just see so how we have taken here so we have two lines that is y is equal to m1 x plus c1 and y is equal to m2 x plus c2 these are the two straight lines here so if you compare with this so first equation is in terms of y is equal to some uh, uh, coefficient means constant into x uh, minus x bar so it is in the form of what here y is equal to mx plus c form only so y is equal to in terms of x we are getting here with constant so here also we want to uh, remodify so we will write the second equation as we will write this second equation as we will write equation 2 as I want this y minus y bar on left hand side so y minus y bar you cross multiply this so if you cross multiply this it will become standard deviation of y divided by standard deviation of x and if you cross multiply this r it will become 1 upon r into x minus x bar i will give this as equation number 3 now we will use 1 and 3 to get what here result so 1 and 3 is equal to y in terms of x y on x both are in y on x we have converted so here in equation 1 and 2 if you open the bracket it will become r into standard deviation of y into standard deviation of x into x minus this entire thing into x bar and similarly this also in third equation if you multiply so it will become 1 upon r into standard deviation of y divided by standard deviation of x into x minus this entire thing into x bar so here x bar coefficient is in this equation first equation x bar coefficient is r into standard deviation of y into standard deviation of x and here also x coefficients here x coefficients are 
1 upon r into standard deviation of y divided by standard deviation of x. So we'll just see here. So we call it is a slope if, because here if you compare m1 and m2 are slopes here. So I will compare first equation as m1 slope and second as m2 slope. So now slope of slopes of 1 and 3 slopes of 1 and 3 it is m1 is equal to r into standard deviation of y divided by standard deviation of x and m2 that is slope 2 is coefficient of this x it is standard deviation of y divided by r into standard deviation of x so substitute these m1 and m2 in the above equation this tan theta is equal to here will apply m1 uh, m2 value m1 value and here m1 and m2 what we have taken now so substituting m1 and m2 values in tan theta so what happens if you apply here so it will become tan of theta is equal to m2 value m2 is standard deviation of y divided by r into standard deviation of x minus m1 value it is r into standard deviation of y divided by standard deviation of x divided by 1 plus m1 value is r into standard deviation of y divided by standard deviation of x into m2 value is standard deviation of y divided by r into standard deviation of x so which all things is going to cancel will cancel so r and r cancel so standard deviation of y into standard deviation of y is standard deviation of y square and this will become standard deviation of x square so in simplifying the numerator and denominator we will get so tan theta is equal to in the numerator you can see that do uh, standard deviation of y upon standard deviation of x and here also standard deviation of y upon standard deviation of x will take common standard deviation of y upon standard deviation of x will take common so what left here 1 upon r and here we have left with r so here denominator 1 plus it will become standard deviation of y square divided by standard deviation of x square or tan theta equal to standard deviation of y upon standard deviation of x into if you take the LCM so LCM will be r so if you cross multiply 1 minus r square and here if you take the LCM so LCM will be standard deviation of x square cross multiply standard deviation of x square plus standard deviation of y square So this standard deviation of x square will go up here and will cancel with cancel with 1. So we will get here tan theta is equal to standard deviation of x into standard deviation of y into 1 minus r square divided by r divided by standard deviation of x square plus standard deviation of y square. So this standard deviation of x square if you, it goes up means it will cancel with this. So this cancel with this one standard deviation and this standard deviation will go up so on maybe on rearrangement tan theta is equal to standard deviation of x into standard deviation of y divided by standard deviation of x square plus standard deviation of y square into 1 minus r square divided by r so this is the required result here So in this way we are using the two slopes that is uh, two equation that is y is equal to m1x plus uh, c1 and y is equal to m2x plus c2 and uh, using the formula tan theta is equal to m m2 minus m1 divided by 1 plus m1 m2 so we got this result here so in this way we have to simplify this standard 